What's going on YouTube? Snipes here with TKO Gaming, bringing you guys just one more Trials of Osiris tip video. I know you guys are seeing a lot of Burning Shrine lately, but trust me, this can be applied to any Trials of Osiris map on any given week. So please do stay tuned. I'm going to talk to you guys about the small giveaway we're going to give away here. This is going to be a little special one, okay? This one is going to be Destiny CQC Control Freaks that you guys can use for either Xbox or PS4. Now the winner will get to decide. So all you have to do is like the video and comment down below anything about Destiny, like or hate, hashtag Destiny at the end of the comment. And that's it. Make sure you're subscribed because we will direct message you on YouTube. Okay, now let's get into this video. Now, why is timing so important? I'll tell you guys why. For those of you that are new to the channel, you guys know though you don't know but people that are here know that we've carried over 3,000 people to the lighthouse we've carried the worst of the worst i'm talking about no thumbs no eyes no ears no nothing all right like horrible horrible players we got them to the lighthouse but not only do we get them to the lighthouse we help them improve along the way now granted you could be the worst player in destiny but as long as you improve a little bit you are on the right path now you could be the best player in destiny which by the way there's no such thing but let's say you're a top tier player you still have room to improve so remember guys if you're not so good at the game all that means is you got more room to go my friends more room to grow anyway so aside from that sometimes when we play now we do guarantee trials of osiris flawless right and a lot of the times we're playing with you guys on our team where it's either a one person carry or a two people carry when we can't get you flawless when we mean by guarantee is we will keep going until we get you flawless. And granted, through 3,000 flawless carries, there's been times where we've tried three times. I think there was a time where we tried four times where we've lost close to the end of the flawless card. But hey, positivity, we get the card again and we get it, the job done. Keep in mind that yes, it's difficult, it's frustrating, but we've noted that the timing is very, very important. You should not play late at night. There's two reasons why. One reason is, and I'm, I'll do the obvious one. Late at night, usually your team is tired, frustrated. Either they had a long day, you know, they're getting, getting to that sleepy, angry phase. You know, not a good idea because trials can get frustrating and you do not want to lose friends over this damn game. You want to make friends. That's what you want to do. All right, that was the obvious one. The main reason why is because the later you play, the harder and more challenging opponents you're going to come across. And you guys are like, wait, how does that make sense? People from all around the world play this game. Well, let me tell you why. Later in the day means less people are going to be playing the game, meaning the pool of not very good Destiny players, I should say, is a lot less, meaning there's a lot more good players or there's a higher probability that you're going to match with those good players and it might be a little tough for you. Also, you don't want to match with people in another country. Granted, time zone, right? We're Pacific time. We're from Seattle, Washington. Go Hawks. But let's say that we're from P Seattle, Washington and we play super late at night and now we're matching people in the UK I'm not saying UK connection is horrible but the fact is that we're in Seattle Washington and someone in the UK we're playing in the same game and destiny always will favor the individual that lags okay so not a good idea to do so that is pretty much why I always recommend to play early on, not too early. We've noted that Trials of Osiris, right when it launches, it's when all the top tier players are running and getting to Flawless first. They want to get Flawless first, so don't do it right then and there. I think the sweet spot is right when all the kids are coming home from school around 2.30, 3 p.m., right? Granted your time zone, I would say around 2 p.m. Pacific time is a sweet spot for Trials of Osiris on any given day. Get in there and play. Now, I also think that Monday isn't the best day for trials. Some say that that's when all the sweaty players are done playing. Uh, I don't know. From experience, from all the carries that we've done, and we carry every single day on stream. You guys can check us out for more tips and tricks. The link is in the description below. We've seen it difficult. So I really hope that next time you guys approach the Flawless, whoever it's with, whether it's with us or someone else, that you guys have success. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Now, remember... The Control Freak giveaway, You all you have to do is like the video and comment down below anything about Destiny followed by hashtag Destiny. Make sure you subscribe to the channel because that's the only way we're going to be able to direct message you. And if you guys want to buy Control Freaks yourself, you can use code 
TKO for 10% off your purchase. Yes, we are sponsored. So all that good stuff. Thank you guys so much for tuning into this video. I really appreciate it. You guys follow us on Twitter, by the way, at real TKO gaming. We have a cool new TKO logo and banner there. Check it out. I love you guys. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out. Oh, and turn out alerts for my channel. Turn them on. All right. Peace.